The giant southern lizard, the largest meat-eating dinosaur of Cretaceous South America, and one of the biggest carnivorous dinosaurs of all time. This is the Giganotosaurus. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. I'm your host, Tall, and today we'll be covering the Giganotosaurus. Jurassic World Dominion has officially dropped, and this is our first dinosaur we are covering from Jurassic World Dominion, but make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a single dinosaur quick dive because we will be covering every single dinosaur and prehistoric creature in Jurassic World Dominion and the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park franchise as a whole. As well, make sure you leave us a dinosaur sized thumbs up and comment down below a dinosaur or prehistoric creature you would like to see us cover in the future. With that being said, let's jump right into the ginormous Giganotosaurus. Well, we've already featured this dinosaur before in the Jurassic World Dominion Giganotosaurus Super Colossal Unboxing episode. So if you want to watch that, you can click over here. The link will be down below in the description or somewhere on screen right now. How do you pronounce its name? Is it Giganotosaurus or Giganotosaurus? It's time for a side note! No, really, I searched online and I found out different sources either pronounce this dinosaur's name with a Giga or Giga. Both pronunciations seem to be accepted. There is this book, though, called The Complete Guide to Prehistoric life by Tim Haynes and Paul Chambers. It's a comprehensive illustrated encyclopedia about prehistoric animals. Featured in the BBC series Life Before Dinosaurs and Walking with Dinosaurs, it was written there that the pronunciation of our giant dino's name is Giganotosaurus. Notice a slight difference in the accents. Nevertheless, it's basically pronounced with a soft G. Again, both pronunciations are accepted, but for consistency's sake, I'm going to mess with you guys throughout the whole episode. I'm going to keep switching it up. So get prepared. It's going to be Giga sometimes. It's going to be Giga. Okay? Side note. Over! So what does Giganotosaurus mean? Okay, not to be confused with Gigantosaurus, which is a completely different dinosaur. I probably need to make a separate episode on the Gigantosaurus in the future. Yeah? You guys cool with that? Let's do it. Alright, so Giganotosaurus came from the ancient Greek word gigas, meaning giant, notos meaning southern, and saurus meaning lizard. It pretty much means giant southern lizard. So where and when did the giant southern lizard live? The Giganotosaurus lived around the area of present-day South America during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 99.6 to 97 million years ago. The first Giganotosaurus fossil was discovered in 1993 in the Candeleros Formation in Patagonia, Argentina. So what did the Giganotosaurus look like? The Giganotosaurus was a huge theropod, and while it wasn't the largest terrestrial carnivore of all time, it was the biggest meat-eating dinosaur in South America. It made headlines when it was discovered simply because it was bigger than the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So the Giganotosaurus grew up to 43 feet or 13 meters long from head to tail and its skull about 5 to 5.9 feet or 1.5 to 1.8 meters long. This dinosaur was said to have weighed 4.2 to 13.8 tons but keep in mind that the exact size of the Giganotosaurus is a little tricky to a lack of complete fossil remains. It was bipedal meaning it walked on two legs so yeah it had two large hind legs and two short front limbs. It had a long narrow skull with a ridge-like crest that pointed up at a backwards angle. Its teeth were flat and serrated to possibly enable it to slice through the flesh of its prey. Kind of like having a steak knives for teeth, maybe. <laughs> Think of it like a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but bigger and scarier. And studies suggest that the Giganotosaurus ran faster than a T-Rex too, with a calculated running speed of about 31 miles per hour or 50 kilometers per hour. Okay, now let's talk about how this prehistoric monster got famous because it's got a quite a bit of a clout on its back. Despite having been discovered relatively recently, the 90s is fairly recent, right? The Giganotosaurus is already gaining a name for itself in popular culture. It has appeared in several TV shows and movies, video games, and toy sets as well. It was featured in shows like Walking with Dinosaurs, Primeval, Prehistoric Monsters Revealed, and Dino Dan. It was also in movies like the fifth installment of The Land Before Time, Journey to the Center of the Earth, Dinosaurs, Giants of Patagonia, and the Japanese animated film You Are Umaso. I think I've watched that one. The Giganotosaurus also appeared in video games such as Ark Survival Evolved and Roblox game Dinosaur Simulator and Prior Extinction. You can also see it in the Dino Crisis 2 and the Isle and the arcade game version of Dinosaur King. And of course, the Great Giant is part of the Jurassic Universe. In the movie Jurassic World, the genetic material of the Giganotosaurus was used by InGen in the creation of the beloved Indominus Rex. It was also featured in the video game Jurassic World Evolution, and yes, the Giganotosaurus will be featured in the new movie Jurassic World Dominion, which is happening now! It's so exciting! We made it to Dominion, baby! So we've seen in Jurassic World Dominion 
opening trailer that the heroes will band together to save Blue's baby. They encounter several new dinosaurs, including a Giganotosaurus. And what we know so far is that the Giganotosaurus will be the antagonist dinosaur in Jurassic World Dominion. Director Colin Trevorrow said in an interview that the Giganotosaurus is actually a real dinosaur and not a genetic hybrid like Jurassic World's Indominus Rex, which makes it so much more cool because Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Indoraptor was the last hybrid we had in the movie, and it came from the Biosyn Valley, the longtime rival of InGen. Trevor also said that the role of the Giga is kind of like the Joker. It simply wants to watch the whole world burn. But honestly, I'm beyond excited. By the time that this video comes out, we probably would have already watched Jurassic World Dominion. While there's no spoilers in this episode, I'm not trying to spoil anything for you. I'm just trying to give you some information about this super exciting theropod dinosaur that's going to be attacking everyone, and all of everyone's going to be doing a natural attack. I gotta relax. Calm down. Take a breather. It's just a dinosaur. Now, where were we? Uh, yeah. The Giganotosaurus' diet and behavior. Let's jump into that right now. So, the Giganotosaurus was one of the most terrifying dinosaurs of all time. Fierce and aggressive, it was the apex predator of South America. During the late Cretaceous, it would have fed on smaller dinosaurs and prehistoric mammals. Studies show that the Giganotosaurus also ate larger prey. Titanosaurus, such as Argentinosaurus, Dreadnoughtus, and Andiosaurus were all on the menu for this dinosaur. Like the name suggests, Titanosaurs were enormous animals. The Titanosaurs were the last surviving group of long-necked sauropods, and this group included some of the largest land animals. So how did the Giganotosaurus eat its supersized meals? Well, scientists suggest that since the Titanosaurus bones were simply too large to chomp on, like in one big bite, the Giganotosaurus probably would have left the bones and concentrated on the softer tissue. Remember its sharp serrated teeth? Well, imagine this giant beast just raking its teeth across the floor flesh of its prey, then all the Giganotosaurus would have had to do is wait for either blood loss or infection to finish the job. Easy peasy, work smarter, not harder, right? That's what the Giganotosaurus always says, right? And that, my friends, is the amazing, gargantuan Giganotosaurus. If you love this awesome dinosaur, then smack us with a dino-sized thumbs up, because we are covering every single dinosaur in Jurassic World Dominion and the entire Jurassic Park and Jurassic World franchise as a whole. Also, make sure that you click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single dinosaur prehistoric animal quick dive we do on this channel. Obviously, leave us a dinosaur-sized thumbs up and comment down below a dinosaur prehistoric creature you would like to see us cover in the future. And if you want to support this channel the best way is to become a member on the channel right now or to send us a donation on paypal down below we appreciate you so much and we'll see you guys in the next episode goodbye